We often think of Golden Age Hollywood stars as wealthy and glamorous, but not all lived lives of luxury. In this video, we will cover 19 Golden Age actors who died in poverty and share the stories of actors who faced hardship and financial struggles in their later years. Join us as we uncover the hidden side of Hollywood, where fame and fortune didn't always last. Barbara Lamar passed away at age 29 in January 1926. Barbara Lamar, recognized as one of the two stunning actresses of the silent film era, was a mesmerizing figure in Hollywood during the 1920s. She gained prominence through her performances in films such as The Three Musketeers and The Prisoner of Zenda. Lamar's beauty and talent quickly established her as a highly sought-after actress. However, her life was characterized by excess, and her extravagant lifestyle ultimately took a toll on her health and finances. Known for her fast-paced existence, she often claimed to require only two hours of sleep each night. This relentless lifestyle, filled with parties, heavy drinking, and substance abuse, left her both physically and financially exhausted. Her extravagant spending habits, coupled with her dependence on drugs to maintain her energy, resulted in significant health issues. By her late 20s, she was already grappling with addiction and physical deterioration. Despite her fame, Lamar's financial affairs were poorly managed, leading to minimal savings. She reportedly spent her earnings as rapidly as she earned them, with little consideration for the future. At the time of her passing in 1926, Lamar was just 29 years old and nearly destitute. Her death was attributed to tuberculosis and nephritis, conditions worsened by her lifestyle choices. In her final days, she was reportedly supported by friends and colleagues who assisted with her medical expenses. Peg Entwistle passed away at age 24 in September 1932. Peg Entwistle, a British-born actress, is often remembered for her brief yet poignant career in Hollywood marked by her tragic life and premature death. She initially began her acting journey on Broadway, where she garnered acclaim for her performances on stage. However, her transition to film proved challenging. After relocating to Los Angeles in pursuit of cinematic success, she managed to secure a minor role in the film 13 Women. Unfortunately, the film's release was postponed, and her part was significantly reduced in the final cut rendering her Hollywood debut disappointing. Her professional setbacks were exacerbated by personal and financial difficulties. As she navigated the pressures of the entertainment industry, her financial situation deteriorated, leaving her struggling to make ends meet. The lack of steady employment further diminished her aspirations of achieving success in Hollywood. Over time, depression took hold, fueled by her economic hardships and professional disappointments. On September 16, 1932, at the age of 24, Peg Entwistle tragically ended her life. At the time of her passing, she was reportedly without financial resources, lacking significant savings or assets. Marie Dressler passed away at age 64 in July 1934. Marie Dressler, an Oscar-winning actress and one of the prominent figures of early Hollywood, experienced an extraordinary ascent to fame only to encounter financial difficulties later in her life. Renowned for her comedic prowess and unforgettable performances in films such as Men and Bill and Dinner at Eight, Dressler's popularity surged during the Great Depression, positioning her as one of MGM's highest-paid stars. However, her financial success proved to be fleeting, largely due to a series of unfortunate events. Despite her substantial earnings, Dressler was exceedingly generous often assisting friends and supporting those in need during the economic crisis. Additionally, her lack of financial management contributed to her later hardships. As her health declined due to cancer, her capacity to work and maintain a steady income diminished rapidly. In her final years, mounting medical expenses depleted her savings, leaving her in a precarious financial situation. By the time of her passing in 1934, Dressler's net worth had reportedly diminished significantly, with little wealth remaining from her once thriving career. Bela Lugosi passed away at age 73 in August 1956. Bela Lugosi, renowned for his iconic portrayal of Dracula, faced a tragic descent into poverty despite his initial success in the horror film industry. Although he achieved fame, Lugosi became typecast 
which restricted his opportunities to portray only eerie characters that gradually fell out of favor as Hollywood's preferences shifted. Consequently, his career began to decline, and with fewer roles available, his income diminished significantly. Struggling to uphold his standard of living, Lugosi encountered financial mismanagement, leaving him with minimal savings in his later years. Compounding his challenges was a debilitating addiction to morphine, initially prescribed to alleviate pain from a leg injury. This dependency not only further depleted his finances, but also damaged his reputation, making it increasingly difficult for him to secure work. In his final years, Lugosi lived in modest conditions and was reportedly reliant on financial assistance from fans to make ends meet. At the time of his passing in 1956, his net worth was estimated to be less than $1,000. Lou Costello passed away at age 52 in March 1959. Lou Costello, renowned for his role as one half of the comedy duo Abbott and Costello, achieved Hollywood stardom through successful films such as Buck Privates and Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. At the height of his career, Costello amassed millions. However, his financial prosperity was short-lived. Costly legal disputes, poor investment choices, and an extravagant lifestyle swiftly depleted his wealth. His spending habits were considerable, and his financial management lacked the necessary foresight to safeguard his assets. Personal tragedy also marked Costello's life. In 1943, he suffered the loss of his infant son in a drowning accident, an event that profoundly impacted him and may have influenced his subsequent life decisions. Additionally, he encountered issues with the IRS resulting in legal battles and substantial tax liabilities that further exacerbated his financial difficulties. By the time of his death at the age of 52 in 1959, Costello's net worth had diminished to an estimated $500,000, a mere fraction of his former wealth. The interplay of legal challenges, excessive spending, and emotional turmoil contributed to Costello's financial decline. Although cherished by his fans, his narrative serves as a stark reminder of the precarious nature of Hollywood fame, where even substantial earnings can dissipate rapidly without prudent financial oversight, leaving stars like Costello with far less than anticipated in their later years. Gail Russell passed away at age 36 in August 1961. Gail Russell was an accomplished and striking actress, renowned for her performances in films such as Angel and the Bad Man and The Uninvited. Unfortunately, her life ended tragically, overshadowed by financial difficulties and personal challenges. Known for her reserved and introverted nature, Russell grappled with the intense pressures of the Hollywood environment, which led her to turn to alcohol as a means of managing her anxiety and stage fright. This dependency on alcohol eventually became widely recognized, adversely affecting her professional reputation as she frequently missed work and exhibited erratic behavior on set. As her career waned, so too did her financial stability. Despite her early success, Russell's battle with alcoholism resulted in various legal troubles, including car accidents and arrests, which further exacerbated her financial woes. By the late 1950s, she faced the prospect of being blacklisted by Hollywood studios, making it increasingly challenging to find acting opportunities. Her savings diminished and she ultimately had to depend on minor television roles and sporadic work, which proved to be both inconsistent and inadequate to sustain her previous lifestyle. When she passed away in 1961 at the age of 36, Russell was reportedly living in near poverty, alone in a modest apartment. Linda Darnell passed away at age 41 in April 1965. Linda Darnell, once renowned for her breathtaking beauty and unforgettable performances in classic films such as Forever Amber, ultimately faced a tragic demise characterized by financial difficulties. Celebrated during Hollywood's golden age for her glamorous persona, Darnell's career experienced a rapid decline following the conclusion of her contract with 20th Century Fox in 1952. As Hollywood's tastes evolved, she found it increasingly challenging to secure significant film roles. Compounding her professional setbacks were personal challenges, including a tumultuous marriage and struggles with alcoholism, which further destabilized her life and financial situation. With her earnings diminishing, Darnell resorted to various occupations to support herself. By the mid-1960s, 
she was performing as a nightclub singer, touring with summer theater companies, and accepting minor roles on television. While these endeavors demonstrated her resilience, they also underscored her desperate need for income, starkly contrasting with her former fame. Once a figure of wealth and stability, her later years were marked by near destitution, reportedly relying on friends for assistance. Tragically, in 1965, at the age of 41, Darnell's life was cut short in a house fire, a poignant reminder of the harsh realities faced by many stars after the limelight has faded. Edie Sedgwick passed away at age 28 in November 1971. Edie Sedgwick, a prominent socialite and actress, is renowned as one of Andy Warhol's most iconic muses, remembered for her captivating presence in the 1960s art scene and the tragic events that marked her life and untimely death. Born into affluence, Sedgwick initially enjoyed financial security. However, her entry into Warhol's factory and the ensuing whirlwind of fame led her down a perilous path characterized by substance abuse and mental health challenges. She emerged as a star in Warhol's avant-garde films, enchanting audiences with her beauty and charisma. Nevertheless, her fast-paced lifestyle, combined with extensive drug use, began to take a toll on her health and finances. Sedgwick spent lavishly on drugs and extravagant living, ultimately depleting her trust fund and inheritance. As her relationship with Warhol deteriorated and her fame diminished, she found it increasingly difficult to secure work outside of the factory, leaving her with limited financial resources. By the late 1960s, Sedgwick was grappling with addiction, relying on friends and family for support as her health continued to decline. After several unsuccessful attempts at recovery, she tragically passed away in 1971 at the age of 28 from an overdose, reportedly with little to no assets left. Her heartbreaking story underscores the perils of fame, addiction, and financial instability, particularly for those who achieve notoriety without a solid support network. Ed Wood passed away at age 54 in December 1978. Ed Wood, renowned as a cult filmmaker, is best remembered for his work on films such as Plan 9 from Outer Space. Throughout his life, he faced significant financial challenges despite his deep passion for filmmaking. Wood often struggled to secure sufficient funding for his projects, frequently operating on extremely limited budgets. His films were largely panned during his lifetime, dismissed as so poorly executed that they became cult classics, which ultimately hindered his ability to achieve a stable income. Financial mismanagement, coupled with a lack of mainstream success, perpetuated Wood's state of poverty, compelling him to take on various odd jobs, including writing pulp novels and adult films. In his later years, Wood's battle with alcoholism intensified, adversely affecting his work consistency. He and his wife faced eviction from their apartment, and by the time of his death in 1978, Wood was living in near destitution, struggling to make ends meet. At the age of 54, he succumbed to a heart attack, reportedly with only a few dollars to his name. Ed Wood's life serves as a poignant example of how the absence of critical and financial recognition during one's career can lead to severe financial hardship, even for a filmmaker who has left a lasting cultural legacy. Sean Flynn passed away at age 28 in April 1970. Sean Flynn, the son of Hollywood icon Errol Flynn, initially embarked on a career in acting. However, he soon redirected his ambitions towards photojournalism, where he became renowned for his adventurous spirit. Flynn undertook perilous assignments during the Vietnam War, capturing images from conflict zones and placing his life at risk for impactful photography. Despite his commitment to journalism, he faced significant financial instability and struggled to secure a steady income. His dedication to documenting the war often led him into hazardous situations with scant financial compensation. In 1970, while on assignment in Cambodia, Flynn vanished and was presumed either captured or killed, although his remains were never found. At the time of his disappearance, he was reported to possess little wealth, as his career was driven more by passion than by financial gain. His narrative serves as a poignant reminder of how the pursuit of a vocation outside the conventional Hollywood framework can leave even the offspring of celebrated stars with precarious financial circumstances. Darla Hood passed away at age 47 in June 1979. Darla Hood, 
the cherished child actress from our gang, also recognized as the Little Rascals, captivated audiences during the 1930s. Despite achieving fame at a young age, her success did not transition into her adult years, leading to difficulties in securing significant roles as she matured. Although she managed to engage in some entertainment work, including minor singing performances and voice acting, her career never regained the prominence it had during her childhood. This situation constrained her financial stability, compelling her to rely on lesser opportunities to support herself and her family. In her later years, Hood faced various health challenges and tragically passed away at the age of 47 due to complications following an appendectomy. At the time of her passing, her financial circumstances were modest, as her early stardom had not afforded her lasting economic security. Her narrative underscores the reality that early success in Hollywood can diminish, leaving former stars with limited means and resources in their adult lives. Jean Seberg passed away at age 40 in August 1979. Jean Seberg, a renowned actress celebrated for her performance in Breathless and her active engagement in political causes, encountered considerable personal and financial difficulties in her later years. Her vocal advocacy for civil rights attracted the attention of the FBI, resulting in surveillance and a damaging smear campaign that adversely affected her reputation and curtailed her career prospects in Hollywood. The relentless harassment contributed to a decline in Seberg's mental health, leading to struggles with depression. This, coupled with professional setbacks, left her in a precarious financial situation, primarily residing in Paris. As her career dwindled, she faced escalating expenses related to legal fees and health care. By the time of her death in 1979 at the age of 40, she was reportedly in debt and living in isolation. Her passing was classified as a probable suicide, although some theories suggest that the pressures from her surveillance and deteriorating mental health played a significant role. Seberg's tragic demise underscores the profound financial and emotional impact that blacklisting and political persecution can impose on a once-celebrated actress. David Janssen passed away at age 48 in February 1980. David Janssen, the acclaimed star of The Fugitive, achieved notable success throughout his career. However, his life was significantly impacted by financial difficulties. Renowned for his rigorous work commitments and multiple marriages, Janssen encountered substantial expenses, including alimony and elevated living costs. Despite earning a considerable income at the height of his career, much of it was absorbed by his extravagant lifestyle and financial responsibilities. In his 40s, Jansen's health began to decline due to excessive alcohol consumption and a demanding workload, which adversely affected his earnings and compelled him to reduce his acting roles. When he unexpectedly passed away from a heart attack in 1980 at the age of 48, his financial circumstances were reported to be modest. Although he was a well-regarded television actor, his lifestyle and significant expenses had resulted in a level of wealth that was considerably lower than what one might anticipate for a star of his prominence. His narrative highlights the financial struggles that even prominent actors can encounter when faced with overwhelming personal and professional pressures. Peter Lawford passed away at age 61 in December 1984. Peter Lawford was renowned for his charisma and his performances in films such as Ocean's Eleven. However, despite his connections in Hollywood and his earlier success, Lawford's life ultimately culminated in financial hardship, a stark contrast to the wealth and glamour he experienced at the height of his career. His lifestyle, characterized by excessive drinking, multiple marriages, and extravagant spending, rapidly depleted his financial resources. As his career began to decline in the 1970s, Lawford found it increasingly difficult to maintain his previous income, leading to significant financial challenges. At the time of his passing in 1984, his net worth was considerably modest compared to his earlier years, with estimates of his remaining wealth varying between $100,000 and $50,000, although some speculate it may have approached $1 million. Nevertheless, this was a significant reduction from the affluence he once enjoyed. His financial troubles were further compounded by expensive divorces and a series of unsuccessful business endeavors. Additionally, his struggles with substance abuse adversely impacted his reputation and earnings, 
hindering his ability to rejuvenate his career as he grew older. Gloria Graham passed away at the age of 57 in October 1981. Gloria Graham, an Academy Award-winning actress celebrated for her performances in The Big Heat and The Bad and the Beautiful, encountered significant financial difficulties in the latter part of her life. Renowned for her alluring screen presence, Graham's career was adversely affected by scandals within Hollywood and personal challenges, including several tumultuous marriages. As her opportunities in major films diminished, she resorted to lower-paying theater roles and minor television appearances to sustain herself during her final years. Diagnosed with breast cancer, she opted against conventional treatment due to financial constraints and apprehension regarding surgery. Her deteriorating health further complicated her ability to work, plunging her into severe financial distress. She eventually returned to England to engage in small theater productions, striving to earn a living despite her illness. Upon her passing in 1981 at the age of 57, Graham's financial circumstances were modest, with little remaining from her earlier Hollywood achievements. Her narrative serves as a poignant reminder of the transient nature of fame and how even celebrated figures can confront financial instability in their later years. Jackie Coogan passed away at age 69 in March 1984. Jackie Coogan, recognized as one of Hollywood's pioneering child stars, gained prominence during the silent film era, particularly for his role in The Kid, alongside Charlie Chaplin. He amassed significant wealth in his youth. However, his financial stability was jeopardized when his mother and stepfather misappropriated most of his earnings for extravagant living. By the time Coogan reached adulthood, he had nearly depleted his fortune and was compelled to initiate legal proceedings against his mother to recover a portion of his lost assets. This legal struggle resulted in the establishment of the Coogan Act, which instituted protections for the earnings of child actors. Despite winning the lawsuit, Coogan's financial circumstances remained precarious, necessitating a complete reinvention of his career. He eventually achieved success on television as Uncle Fester in The Addams Family, yet the income he generated was modest in comparison to his earlier acclaim. Throughout his life, Coogan faced ongoing financial difficulties and continued to work into his later years to sustain himself. His experiences underscore the financial exploitation that many child stars endure, often leaving them with minimal security in their adult lives. Lana Turner passed away at age 74 in June 1995. Lana Turner, a legendary figure in Hollywood, is celebrated for her performances in films such as The Postman Always Rings Twice and Peyton Place. Throughout her life, she experienced both the heights of fame and the depths of financial distress. Despite amassing considerable wealth during her career, her extravagant lifestyle, legal issues, and multiple marriages significantly impacted her finances. Turner was married eight times, and many of her divorces resulted in expensive settlements and alimony obligations. Additionally, her penchant for lavish homes, designer clothing, and exquisite jewelry contributed to her financial struggles, leading to substantial debts. As her career waned in her later years, her health declined, and her once reliable income from film and television diminished. Ultimately, she was compelled to scale back her lifestyle and manage her debts by relying on residuals and smaller acting roles. By the time of her passing in 1995 at the age of 74, Turner's wealth had significantly decreased from its zenith, illustrating how fame and fortune can swiftly evaporate without prudent financial management, leaving even the most celebrated stars in precarious financial situations. David Carradine passed away at age 72 in June 2009. David Carradine, renowned for his performances in Kung Fu and Kill Bill, experienced a life characterized by financial fluctuations despite his enduring legacy in Hollywood. His career, which spanned several decades, was significantly affected by a range of personal difficulties, including multiple divorces, legal issues, and battles with substance abuse. Carradine's unconventional lifestyle and erratic behavior not only tarnished his reputation, but also hindered his ability to obtain consistent, lucrative roles in his later years. In the twilight of his career, he resorted to accepting various low-budget films and minor roles to make ends meet. At the time of his passing in 2009, 
he left behind considerable debts and minimal savings. Despite his extensive career, Carradine's financial woes were intensified by substantial personal expenses and an unstable income, resulting in a far lower net worth than one might anticipate for a veteran actor. His narrative serves as a poignant reminder of how financial instability can persist for even the most accomplished actors, particularly when personal and legal challenges deplete their resources. Farrah Fawcett passed away at age 62 in June 2009. Farrah Fawcett, a cherished actress and model renowned for her role in Charlie's Angels, encountered considerable financial difficulties in the latter part of her life, primarily due to overwhelming medical expenses. In the 1970s, Fawcett was a prominent star, earning substantial salaries and enjoying significant wealth. However, her later years were overshadowed by her battle with cancer, which necessitated expensive treatments and international travel for alternative therapies. Despite her fame, the high costs associated with her illness gradually eroded her financial stability. As her health deteriorated, Fawcett was unable to continue working, further exacerbating her financial strain. She passed away in 2009, reportedly with diminished wealth compared to her earlier years, as her health challenges and the associated costs severely impacted her savings. Her financial struggles serve as a poignant reminder that medical expenses can profoundly affect even those who once enjoyed considerable affluence, leaving them with limited resources in their final years.